We welcome in Sixth Man of the Year nominee, Eric Gordon. All right, Eric, a big year for you guys, but once again, everyone out west is looking up at the Warriors. What does your team need to do in order to catch them? Well, with a team like the Warriors, you know, uh, they got a lot of firepower, and, um, you know, I'd say to, for us to get better, we just got to, you know, you got to find guys that can, uh, you know, bring that force to a team where, we can have where we do have better scores, playmakers, and, uh, and you, you guys that can bring the full package to our team. Hey, uh, E.G., what's up? This is Sally, and uh, congratulations, man, on three point. Now you're nominated for six man award. Your boy Lou is nominated for six man award. How many six men did you guys have on the squad? Like, <laughs> is it a seven man award? Uh, <laughs> does it bother you, or does you do you think you deserve the six man award over over Lou? Well, we both had great years, and, uh, you know, uh, it's funny. When he joined the team, I was like, man, this, our, our firepower off the bench is going to be incredible. And, and then when it gets down towards the year, who's going to win the award? So, uh, you know, it's it, it just, uh, you know, we ended up, both of us had great years, and uh, it's good to see him successful and uh, both of us successful as we're coming off the bench. And we just want to come in and make immediate impacts. Yeah, but, oh, come on, Eric. I mean, he's going to be here in like 15 <laughs> minutes. I mean, seriously, Lou is going to be on the show in like 15 minutes. If you think he's not going to be asked, why should you win this over Eric? He's going to be asked. So this is your chance to give us the real reason why you – I know you want the award. You told us a minute ago you want the award. So what's the best case for you over Lou? What's the best case? Hey, all I can say, hey, he joined forces with our team and uh, – uh, you know, like I said, he had a great year, no question about it, and I saw it uh, for, at first hand, and, uh, you know, he definitely got his hardware. I definitely want mine also. <laughs> All right. So uh, I sit there. I know you. So I know when you were on the Clippers and then you went to the Pelicans and, you know, your finger was hurt, no one, they didn't treat you right. What do you feel working right now with the, with the Rockets that you guys need to do to get even in conversation with Will? Because Will will have different conversations. What do y'all need to go over the hump? Do you need CP3? Do you need a point guard? Do you need, what do you need? Uh, you know, like I said, maybe, maybe we just need a big time. Uh, uh, maybe, I, I don't know if it's either a big or a guard. I, I don't know. You know, I leave that up to, you know, our, you know, our GM and, you know, president. I, I leave it up to those guys. And I trust those guys. And, uh, you know, they're going to always make our team better. But it's, you know, like I said, we had a fun year. It didn't end as well as we expected. We definitely wanted to get a taste at the Warriors this past year and, uh, and, and see what happens. But uh, we know we definitely have to get our team better uh, for next season if we want to win a championship. The NBA awards will be handed out this evening. Of course, MVP seems to be coming down to your teammate Harden and, of course, Russell Westbrook. What's something a lot of people would be surprised to learn about your teammate who's up for that award? I mean, uh, you know, you heard all through the years that, uh, that he could be a selfish player because he used to shoot a lot of shots in the past, but he led the league in assists. I mean, I, and I expected that out of him. I was telling everybody, everybody that, that uh, you know, this offense is geared just for him, and, uh, for, and nobody ever thought he could be a point guard. And he led the league in assists, so uh, he's, he's a major difference maker. So, um, you know, every, we all know it's going to boil down to him and Russ probably and uh, uh, to see who's going to win. Eric, James led the league in assists. He played a lot more point guard recently. We know you love Kyrie. I think you said, what would you say, Kyrie has the best handles, did you say in the NBA or did you say ever, all, best, all time? Best <laughs> Yeah, probably ever. Best ball handler. All right, then do this. Give us your top, your your top point guards right now in the NBA. Ooh, Kyrie. That's a tough one, man. I'm gonna help you with yeah, one. He, you better, you gotta say James, right, right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh well, that's no question. It, it depends on how many. I didn't know how many you you were asking for, but you know, James and Russ, they're, they're for sure. Uh, you know, for this season, for sure, the top two, for sure, and. Uh, uh, Kyrie's definitely up there. Curry's up there. I mean, you got a lot of great point guards out here. I mean, they're, they're all arguable. All right. Okay. You're, uh, so, as Jen asked, I mean, or, or John did actually, CP3, I mean, point guards are the entire conversation with the Rockets right now. You've got one mm -hmm. up for the MVP. It's rumored that an, a second in, in Chris Paul could be coming to Houston. And then now you're singing the praises of, 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 um, 
of Kyrie. You are playing right now with what you just said as one of the best point guards in the league. How has that changed your game? What is having a point guard like that, or adding a guy like Chris Paul for that matter, how does that change the game for you personally? For me personally, you know, I could play. I'm a guy who doesn't really need the ball. I, I've always uh, been a good shooter, so, you know, when I, when I you know, and, and our style of play is great for playmakers. So when you have a good playmaker at, at the point guard position and with our style of play, you're easy to, to say, it's easier to set up everybody, uh, set up everyone who's out there. So it's all about knocking down jump shots when, when you have a good playmaking, uh, playmaker at the point, point guard position. Eric Gordon, who plays NBA for real, but whose favorite video game is Madden. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. Good luck tonight, Eric.